So, Ring Fit Adventure on the Nintendo Switch. I'm pretty certain you've probably already heard of this game. You know, that game that was sold out practically worldwide and the only way to get a hold of one was to pay ridiculously high retail prices during lockdown? Yeah, that game. Nintendo's latest offering that promises to make anyone a fitness enthusiast in a fun and engaging way. But what exactly does this do differently than any other gamified fitness title? We've been down this road before. We all loved Wii Sports, some of us even picked out Wii Fit and the balance board. Other developers joined in too with Your Fitness Evolved on the Xbox, Zumba, Insanity Workout and the Connect, remember that? Dance Central and Just Dance, the list is near endless. Even Spice Girl Mel B was getting involved saying you needed to squat for 20 reps to spice up your life. Jeez! Well, my name is Ainel and I've decided to put this title and my body to the test. This is my one year review of Ring Fit Adventure. First off, a little bit about my fitness history. I'm not a professional fitness expert, far from it. I know the names of some of the major muscle groups, maybe, and I try to go to the gym like twice a week to keep active. I also like going for long distance runs to help clear my mind and energize my body. Although, going back to 2013, I mashed myself up. I tore my meniscus in my knee and I had to have surgery. It's a crazy story on how it happened, but I'll have to save that for another time. Today, even after subsequent physiotherapy, my knee was not going to be the same again. It wasn't like when you was a kid and you know, you fall over, go to sleep, wake up in the morning and you auto healed. This was permanent damage, there was no auto regen. Nah, -uh. none of that. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't be able to do any long distance running ever again, at least not to the degree I did previously. It was the first time I did serious injury to myself and made me realize I need to start taking care of my fitness and my overall health. Fast forward to October 2019 where I picked up Ring Fit Adventure on launch day. And like many at the time, I put it down to being another Nintendo gimmick like Wii Fit and Wii Sports. Well, as you can tell from the sweat on my face after my first session, Ring Fit Adventure is deceptively intense. It's a great cardio and toning workout, but at the time, I thought it would never be a true substitute to the gym workouts and classes that I like to attend. Then, 2020 decided to start doing a madness and messed out everyone's fitness routines. I knew I'd have to find a new way to keep my fitness levels up and to stop my knee from cramping up during lockdown. I live stream regularly on Twitch and that means sitting in front of a computer screen on my ass for hours on end. So, I decided to make Ring Fit Adventure my primary means of getting regular exercise. I set myself the challenge of working out using the app at least three times a week live on Twitch on the hardest difficulty setting for at least 30 minutes of in-game physical activity, which works out around an hour and 20 minutes overall. Great, that's a nice little backstory in that, but how exactly does Ring Fit Adventure work? Well, Ring Fit is essentially a gamified personal trainer with an adventure game overlaid on top of it. You're encouraged to work out while simultaneously trying to save the world from a tyrant called Drago. You navigate through the world by jogging on the spot and defeating enemies in turn-based battles. The moves you use in combat are real-life exercise moves that all deal differing amounts of damage to your opponents. More on that later. Much like a traditional RPG, you can talk to townsfolk, take on optional side quests, visit shops, play mini-games and even craft your own smoothies to give you an advantage in battle. All of this is accomplished by the clever technology within the Joy-Cons tracking and analyzing everything you do. 
The left Joy-Con is attached to your thigh by the included strap and the right Joy-Con is connected to the Ring-Con accessory. Every step you take and every push and pull of the Ring-Con is tracked and recorded to your personal profile. The Joy-Cons use Nintendo's HD Rumble 2 during the workouts. The thigh strap vibrates your leg to help you count reps when you're not looking at the TV and the entire ring con vibrates as you pull and pull it giving an added effect to the resistance already within the band. Unlike the Xbox Kinect Fitness games or the Wii Motion games, you don't need a huge area to work out in. The Joy-Con track you wherever you are and you don't need any direct line of sight with the TV. Most of the exercises can be done in place and some of you might be happy to hear that there is no press ups or star jumps in this title at least none that I've unlocked anyway. The small Joy-Cons do a nice job of sensing how well you're doing the exercises too. It's not perfect, but the software is decent enough in suggesting tweaks to improve your form and overall performance. The only issues I personally found were with the thigh strap when tracking high knee inputs. Attached too high and your thighs would bust out the Velcro strap and too low and your lifts wouldn't even register. Outside of that, I didn't have any issues tracking the over 40 different exercise moves you can unlock in the story campaign. Speaking of exercise moves, when jumping into the turn-based battles, this is when they come into play. Each exercise move that you've unlocked is assigned a specific color depending on the body parts which you're working out. So, for example, red are arm-based exercises, yellow is for ab-based moves, blue or purple is for legs and green, are yoga and tai chi specific moves. The enemies are also represented by the same colors, which means if you use a specific exercise of the same color against the foe, you'll deal extra damage to them. Your moves are also on a cooldown. Once you've used an exercise, you have to wait a number of turns before you can repeat the same move again. On top of that, enemies can deal status affecting moves against you, which can lower your attack damage, make you vulnerable to certain types of moves, as well as buff up their comrades by healing or boosting their effects. I really like this battle system, and I think it's a great way Nintendo encourages you to vary up your options, and much like a traditional RPG, use strategy to best your opponents. I do wish, however, that this game had some form of special moves or summons that could allow you to do massive damage. Later bosses can deal some powerful moves against you and you have to defend to the best of your ability in order to overcome their attacks. If only there was a way in which you could build up some form of active meter. The more exercises you do without stopping or taking a break, the faster the meter could build. Then when maxed out, you can unleash an extra powerful strike that could deliver immense damage to your enemies. That could be a fun way of rewarding players that want to go that extra mile or looking for that additional challenge. You're really encouraged to think about the exercise moves that you bring into each battle, as losing all your health will mean you'll have to repeat the entire level all the way from the beginning again. Woo! Ain't nobody got time for that! Oi, and let me tell you, yeah, little tip, watch out for the healing yoga mats, innit? <laughs> they can set your progress back minutes. Minutes. Yeah, so watch out for them. There's even a skill tree that expands twice throughout your adventure that allows you to spend skill points to gain extra chances and raise your attack bonuses. They really went in with the battle system and I personally think it's one of the most impressive features of Ring Fit Adventure. These gamified aspects really do make fitness fun and challenging to you as a player. A tough end of world boss really feels tough as by the end of it, your body feels like you've actually been in a battle. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Overhead press! Hold it! Hold it!
Look, I know what some of you are thinking. Bruh, this game looks like it's for experts only. The way you're sweating in these clips is mad. Well, you're right. You are right. This game can be extremely tough at times, especially if you augment the game like I did by taking on many levels with a weighted vest. However, there are many, many accessibility options that allow any level of fitness to get involved and get moving. There are 30 levels of difficulty ranging from one very easy to super hard 30. There's a number of different language and voice options allowing you, no matter what region you're in, to mix and match your choices. For example, I played with English text and a male Japanese voiceover, for instance. These can be changed at any time. The small Joy-Con attached to the Rincon can also track your heart rate at the end of each level, and it's surprisingly accurate when comparing it to my fitness watch on my wrist. Other bits of useful information are also displayed at the end of each level, including all the moves and exercises that you used in battles and how many calories you burned. Tip, the game's virtual guide, constantly assesses your progress each session, and he asks whether you'd like to decrease or increase your difficulty levels depending on how you previously did. So don't worry, this game is fully accessible. The Rincon can also be used when the switch is turned off. By pressing the Joy-Con in when the switch is powered off, you can use it to clock up up to 500 reps at a time. You get a cute little beep for every rep that you do and a different sound for every 100 reps you reach. These offline reps can be redeemed in-game for extra currency, which will definitely come in handy in the late game, as items in the shop very quickly start to get more and more expensive as you progress. The offline reps can also be used in a sociable way too. By sending those reps to a Nintendo online friend, you can also send them rare ingredients for them to use when crafting. This can be a really nice way of encouraging your friends to keep working out. It's nice when you log in for a tough workout to find a friend gifted you some reps as a method of encouragement. Speaking of socials, let's talk about the online components. Ring Fit doesn't have a traditional multiplayer. You won't be working out alongside other players. However, there are dozens and dozens of leaderboards where you can challenge your friends or the world at every exercise in the game. If you want to get your money's worth out of this, then you have to take this challenge on with friends. Trying to break their records has really encouraged me to keep logging in each day. It's a great method of pushing each other and has seriously kept me going throughout this whole crazy year. I also chose to work out on stream too. Viewers could spur me on in the chat or join in as many in the community did. Working out alongside my community on Twitch was fantastic. It gave me a level of accountability I didn't have when going to the gym alone. I didn't want to let them down when reaching tough bosses and they'd pay that back in kind by constantly setting me new targets and records to break in game. There we go. We were spurring each other on and it felt like a very sociable experience, even though we were all confined to our own households. I even streamed some Ring Fit with my mum over on Eurogamer's YouTube. You can check out the VOD from that live stream over on their channel. Click the button above to check it out. Spoilers, my mum beats me in every way as she's super healthy. I just want to be as fit as she is when I reach her age. 
We also helped to raise over $25,000 for the NAACP. So a massive thank you to everybody that tuned into the live charity stream and big up your chest if you donated as well. Thank you for supporting because Black Lives Matter. Outside of the main campaign, you can create your own custom workouts, each one adding in dynamic warm-up and cool-down exercises automatically, which is a great feature. During lockdown, Nintendo also released a free rhythm game update, which I think is worth the price of the game alone. Imagine Beat Saber with music from your favorite Nintendo franchises, such as Mario Odyssey, Splatoon, and Breath of the Wild. Much like all the other modes, there are leaderboards for varying degrees of difficulty here, and believe me, these rhythm challenges can get hard. So, the big question is, is Ring Fit Adventure worth your money? Well, for me, after using it for over a year now, totally. However, it does come with some caveats. At the end of the day, like any other form of exercise, you have to turn it into a habit. This has to be part of your daily or weekly routine. In terms of results, I've definitely seen improvements to my overall stamina, my arms have definitely gotten bigger and my abs have smoothed out. It's not quite at six pack levels yet, but that's the year two goals. Long gone are the uni days where I could party all night, wake up in the morning for a lecture, no hangover and a natural six pack. <laughs> Long gone are those days. What Ring Fit does really well though, is that it takes well-known exercises and packages them into an adventure that at many points has you forgetting that you're actually working out. I finished the main story campaign on level 187 with over 130 hours logged, yet I'm only a third of the way through of all the available content in this game. Ring Fit Adventure has content for literally years, however, whether you see it all is all down to your focus and your commitment to your health. This title can easily last me a second year, and if I have the right level of focus and the world being what it is in 2020, I think I'll be playing this for a long while yet. If you enjoyed this review of Ring Fit Adventure, then hit that like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe button where I'll be bringing more videos like this to the gamification channel soon. If you're considering starting your Ring Fit journey or you're still on the fence about the fitness application, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want to see me live, I stream a variety of games three to four times a week on Twitch. Come say hi. Also, if you want to get involved in my Get Buff or Die Trying streams, join me and my community live on Twitch each week. You don't need Ring Fit Adventure to join in, you just need yourself, a yoga mat, some water, and some enthusiasm. Till next time, peeps, I've been I Now. Thank you for watching.